Hi, Sarah here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you how to use um, this distressed pattern, the overlay in Inkscape, and then how to uh, import that into into Brother Scan and Cuts canvas. Uh, please bear with me. Obviously, I have a cold, so my voice isn't the best. So you can see what I have here. I've typed out the words, and I have imported this overlay. So then you take this and move this down. You want to make sure that this is the words. Whatever you're trying to distress is the um, the bottom layer. So you can see how this is on top of it. So how you would change that if you need to, um, if it's not the if it's not behind it, is you would go to object and then go right here, and you would go to um, lower to bottom, but I already have it as the as the the first layer. So then you want to move this, move this anywhere you want. So you can see the black part is what you're taking away. That's what you're distressing. Now you can, if you want, you know, if you wanted it to be a larger pattern distressed or a lesser pattern distressed, you can grab this by the corner, press Control while you're while you're resizing, and that'll keep it all the proportion, and that's going to change. Um, how much you distress. What I found the, the best the best pattern is if you make it so that um, so that the uh, the pattern is you know your your image is taking up as much of the pattern as, as you can. You can see that I'm taking up the whole thing. That's what I found works best. Now the next thing you're gonna do so right now I have my selector clicked. That's what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to Draw a box around both items, and then go up to Path, and then Difference. And there you go. There's your distressed uh, text. Now you can also use the distressed pattern for vectors or pictures or anything at all that you want to distress. So that's how you do it. Thanks. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Have a good day.